Hi guys, this is Kefren. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, setting for OBS when you want to stream on whatever YouTube or Twitch. Uh, first of all, uh, it's my first video on my new channel in English, so don't laugh about my accent or my spelling mistake. I'm French. <laughs> Every know everybody knows about it. So uh, we will start this. Uh, first of all, in the settings, in the uh, encoding section, you have a three option. First of all, you have X264. This is the an option that the, it's the, be the best option for your uh, image quality. You can use the quick sync. Quick sync is like your uh, graphic card on your uh, uh, CPU. So for example, if you have, I don't know, uh, uh, i7-4790, uh, you have like a, an integrated chip on it for uh, the GPU. So you can use that to uh, encode your video. Uh, you need a lot of bitrate and the buffer size to, to use the uh, that option. So you need to, for example, right now I'm at 270. But uh, if I want the same quality for the, that option, I need to use like 3100, something like that. And the last option is the NVIDIA NVENC. Uh, I never use that because I have an AMD card, but I know you can do the same thing with the AMD with the VCE. Again, uh, the quality is less, so if you have a good uh, CPU, use X264. So for the bitrate right now, I'm streaming and I'm recording. I'm using uh, 200, uh, 2700, same thing for the buffer size. Uh, I have a pretty good connection. I use a 30 uh, M bytes for download and upload speed. I have a 10, so it's pretty good. Don't go... Uh, more than 3,500 because Twitch won't let you. So uh, I think two, 2,070 is pretty good. I, I did a lot of different tests and that's about it. Broadcast setting. So it's your setting for your uh, uh, your video, uh, where do you want to stream, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, right now, okay, so Resolution. So I'm full HD on my screen, but I downscale the resolution to 720p. I think it's the best combination that you can do because a lot of people are listening to your stream and they don't have a good computer or a good connection, uh, and they even use the mobile version. So, like 720p, it's a it's it's a good resolution. Um, Billion air for the filter, so you want it the fastest uh, possible. And I'm using 30 FPS. You can use 40 if you want, and even 60. Uh, it's because I don't want to to uh, f like I want the, the best performance when I'm gaming. And I think right now 30 FPS when you play RTS, MOBA, and stuff like that is good. You can use 60 if uh, you're playing a uh, first-person shooter or a game like a uh, Counter Strike or Counter Strike, sorry, and or uh, H1Z1 stuff like that. So it, you can use it, but you need more resources to to stream it. Audio, we will skip it. Uh, key, you don't need that. Advanced. So this is the the last place that you can change stuff. Uh, you can use pretty much my setting. If you want a better quality, you can go faster, fast. This is the how the your CPU process the video. So if it's like um, slower, the the quality of your video or stream will be better. But uh, it's pretty hard on your CPU. So because you're normally when you stream, you're, you're gaming like uh, some game that can be really uh, hard on your computer. For an example, uh, The Witcher 3. Uh, you should use very fast and you will have a good quality and everybody will be happy with that. So that's about it. And uh, yeah, the, those are the options if you use a uh, quick sync encoder. But um, right now, like I said, I'm not using it. Uh, I recommend a good CPU, seriously. Like I made a mistake on my uh, previous uh, computer, I bought an uh, uh, i5-2500K, uh, it's a really good uh, processor if you want a game, but it, when you're gaming and streaming, you don't have, uh, uh, you need an i7, so I just changed my CPU for the new i7-4790K, and it's amazing, right now I can play for example H1Z1 with 100 FPS, and uh, I'm still streaming and recording my video, so I have like crazy performance, so so that's about it, this is my first Engl video in English, if you can follow my uh, channel, I really uh, appreciate it, and uh, you can leave a comment, I will respond to all your questions for uh, 
what kind of setting that you can use for streaming or just record video. So thank you very much, guys, and uh, have a nice weekend. <laughs> Ciao.